Welcome to this tutorial showing you how to create a torn paper hole effect using Photopia. And you'll see I've already opened a photograph of myself along with a picture of a lizard's eye. And I found on Google a torn paper hole, but I had to use the polygonal lasso tool to cut around the outside of the hole and delete the background and cut around the inside and delete the inside too. So I'm left with just the paper. Okay. First up, I'm going to grab as much of the lizard's eye as I think I'm going to need and then control C to copy it and control V to paste it. And I'm going to resize it and turn it so that it goes where my eye is and once I'm happy I'm going to go to my torn paper layer use the rectangle select tool to select it control C to copy it control V to paste it and I'm going to zoom in now just so you can see what I'm doing and I'm going to take that paper layer and I'm going to Holding shift to keep it the same shape, drag it as big as I want. In this instance, I'm doing it as big as I can on the lizard's eye without going over that image. Okay, so I've gone right to the edges, to the limits of where I can go. And next up, I'm going to fill the paper with a random completely different color so in this instance hot pink and I'm gonna fill that and the reason I'm doing that is because we want to be able to mask around this shape so I'm going to go to the magic wand and mask that area I'm gonna press ctrl C to copy it and ctrl V to paste it and it becomes its own layer and I'll just delete the other layers to show you so that is it on its own layer Okay, then I'm going to use the magic wand again and I'm going to click around it. So I'm going to completely mask off the area around the pink shape. And then I'm going to go back to the lizard layer and press delete on the keyboard. And that's going to delete all the lizard image outside of that pink area. Okay, now I can delete that pink layer and get rid of the pink in the paper layer. So I mask it off and press delete as well. And you'll see I now have the lizard's eye inside the torn paper. Okay, but we've got some work to do to make that look more realistic. So I'm going to go to my lizard's eye layer, double click on it, and I'm going to go to inner glow. And I'm going to make sure the drop down menu is normal. And then I can mess around with the size and the distance and the opacity to get an inner kind of shadow that makes it look like it's underneath that torn paper. Okay. So once I'm happy with that, I can go to stroke and I'm just going to put a black stroke around it to guarantee it's got a nice edge to it. Okay. Click okay. And that is our hole, if you will, sorted. Now we're going to go to the paper layer, double click on that. And we're going to go to drop shadow and you'll see it drops a nice shadow but i want that shadow to be going downwards in this image so i'm going to turn the compass around so that it's pointing upwards so the shadow goes down and then you can again mess around with size distance opacity to get whatever shadow effect you want okay and click okay and Okay, so that is essentially it. I now have a torn paper hole, um, but I want to do some tweaks. So I'm gonna, on the paper layer, just go image adjustments, brightness, contrast. And I'm just gonna bring the brightness down to make the shadows on the um, paper stand out a bit more. And I'm gonna go to my lizard layer and again brightness and contrast and I'm just going to bring the brightness up and the contrast down just to make that eye a little bit lighter so it pops a bit more okay 
And that is the end of this tutorial. I hope it helps.